Hi cruisers, welcome back to Cruising Chris Craft. I'm Nikki, as most of you know, and today I'm doing another do-it-yourself interior design episode. Today we're making themed throw pillows for Stargazer. If you like do-it-yourself boat repairs, make sure you like and subscribe so you can cruise with us. Let's get started. Today I am making throw pillow covers. Um, I have some fabric that's left from the shower curtain episode. We have um, enough to do probably two pillows, but we need more throw pillows than that in the boat. So we decided we're gonna throw a little fun into it. And we're gonna make some Jaws covers. These will be extra fun in the boat. I think it'll be a hoot. As much as we love taking on projects to make Stargazer run smoothly, I also want to include fun details in the style of our family. Because after all, Stargazer is a member of our family. And with today being the 45th anniversary of Jaws, we wanted to celebrate in the only way we know how, and that's do it together. My stepfather was a huge fan of the Jaws movies. And when we were little, he made us watch every single one, more than once. So even though I still might not be the first in line to enter a shark tank, I am excited to celebrate the film while adding my own personalized touch. If you want to follow along and make your own pillow at home, here's what you'll need, Cruiser. You'll need a t-shirt, a pillow of course, a sewing machine, lots of pins, a pair of scissors, and your measuring tape. Alright, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to lay our t-shirt out nice and flat. Um, I want to make two pieces of fabric, so I'm going to cut down each side hem so that we have two pieces. I'll also obviously be cutting off the sleeves at this point too, and eventually the collar. For the front of my pillow, I just want this shark design, so I'm going to cut up the side seam and remove one sleeve. Once that's complete, I'm going to flip it over and cut down the other side. and then cut right across the collar. Now I have two pieces of fabric, otherwise known as the front of the pillow and the back of the pillow. Unfortunately, I don't have my master seamstress here with me today, so I'm going to improvise. If you sew often, you probably have a cutting mat to keep your fabric still and to make your measurements, but I don't have one. So instead, I'm using a plastic cutting board, which is actually doing just the trick. I totally recommend this tip to any beginners like myself. So the first thing we're going to do is measure our front panel. Front panel obviously is the side with the design. Ours is going to be a 19 by 19. And when I measure from the collar, the design comes to 18. To make my pieces, I'm measuring 19 inches up each side and marking my points. My pillow is 18 by 18, but I want to give myself a little wiggle room for the seams. I'm also measuring 19 inches across the center of my image because our pillow is going to be a perfect square. So I'm gonna try and make it so that it's right in the center. And I want half of 18, which is nine and a half. I think if I do an inch and a half beyond each side, because my design will fall right between that. Inch and a half on each side of my design. And it depends on what your design is, basically. You just wanna center it. And I have these handy dandy cloth markers, which I'm hoping we're not going to see once we sew. What I did was I measured an inch beyond each side for my seam. So this marker is not going to be seen later, but I will know where to cut. That's my beginning, obviously, and then we're going to come down to 19 inches. And I'm going to do that in a few spots across the top. Luckily, t-shirt material has a lot of give. Um, so it doesn't have to be really precise. I think the main thing is you don't want to cut too much fabric because it's gonna stretch. And when it stretches, that's your give. And I'll do one more on this side. And then we can measure the other direction. My picture going this way is about 11 and a half inches. So I am going to 
pretty much almost take it right out to the edge. About three and a quarter inches on either side is going to be bring me right into the center. And again, I'm just going to mark my 19 inches. And because it's t-shirt material and it does have a lot of give, just when you pull it to measure, make sure you're pulling it smooth. So I just realized that this t-shirt is way too small for my 19 by 19 markings. It's perfect for a pillow that's 16 by 16, so I'll just set it aside. Remember, it's normal to make mistakes. The beauty of them is that you learn from them and try again. In the meantime, let's grab something a little bigger. You're gonna need a bigger boat. Our measurements are out. We're 19 by 19 around our picture. And then we have the bottom half is a 19 by seven, because that's gonna be one of our envelope folds on the back side. So we can begin cutting. One side done, seemed pretty easy. I'll go across the top now. So this project is actually pretty cool because growing up, my stepfather was a huge Jaws fan. He made us watch every movie, more than once. And so this brings me back to memories because he passed about seven years ago. And so it's pretty sentimental for me. I'm sure he'll be very proud of these pillows. That is the front of the pillow cut out and done. Hey, I got it. What? Get behind me. And then the bottom half of that side is actually, like I said earlier, going to be the top of my envelope. So that's your first panel for the back side. And then with the back of the t-shirt, I'm going to cut out my second panel for the back side of the pillowcase. All right, so there we have our three pieces of material that we'll need to make our actual pillow cover. First, I'm laying my front piece down, design side up. Our first back piece is going to rest with the actual hem up, with the cut portion even with the bottom. Our second smaller back piece is going to rest on top of that, so that both hems overlap to create the envelope shape. Now here's where all those pins come in. I'm placing my pins about a half an inch from the border, making sure that my fabric doesn't move as I go along. Because it's an envelope shape, we don't need to leave any space around the outside. So go ahead and pin all four sides. Once you get started, it goes really quickly. Just remember, as you sew, you want your pins to be horizontal so that you can pull them out as you go down the side. And I usually go about every three inches because as you know from my curtain episode, I am not a master seamstress. So we're just gonna kinda go with flow and hope that everything works out fine. And I think it will. One thing I didn't mention earlier, but what you should do is pre-wash your t-shirt because cotton shrinks. I'm very excited. I think these pillars are going to be a lot of fun on the boat. Maybe a conversation piece. Maybe it'll scare some people off the boat. Who knows? So now that we have everything pinned, it's time to sew. Doesn't matter which side you sew first. And we had an 18 inch pillow that we're covering. And if you remember, we cut 19 by 19. So that leaves us an inch, a half inch rather, on either side. You always want to make sure you do your reverse stitch at the beginning and end of every, every stitch you do, every hem. And as you go, 
you just pull out your pins. Because it is a t-shirt, it's gonna stretch as you move. So you wanna try and keep it as together as possible without it stretching. If you can do a, a zigzag stitch on your sewing machine, it's probably best for it also because it does have a lot of give and tend to move. I'm gonna keep, peek at the back every now and then, make sure that my fabric is lined up. Again, when I get to my end, I'm gonna do a nice reverse stitch and then finish it off. It's one side down, seemed pretty painless. Smooth sailing, as we like to say in the boating world. Two down, two to go. I'm really excited. I think this pillow is going to be awesome. So close. One more to go. I'm nearing the finish line. So exciting. Alright, my friends. We have all four sides stitched, sewn. So now I'm just gonna just cut off these extra strings now the time of truth Let's see what happens here you're going to turn your pillowcase inside right and if all went as planned we're gonna have this perfect 19 by 19 inch envelope pillow cover with the most fantastic Jaws print on the front. Drum roll, please. Front looks pretty good. Back looks pretty good. Final step is gonna be to stuff that pillow in it. We're just going to open up our envelope in the back side and start stuffing. One corner at a time, I think would probably work best. Maybe a little shoving, but it, whatever. That's it. That a boy. Come on. Again, t-shirt material is super easy to work with because it stretches. Fold your envelope, seal it nice and tight, and then, voila. <laughs> you got yourself a Jaws pillowcase. Thanks for joining us today, Cruiser. Don't forget to like and subscribe down below. And make sure you leave us a comment telling us how your pillowcase came out. Or better yet, send us a picture. Once again, I'm Nikki. And remember, as Maya Angelou once said, you can never use up creativity. The more you use, the more you have. See you soon, Cruiser.